So you've got yourself a chicken coop, and now you've got a bunch of eggs, but you don't know what to do with those? Well, I've got something for you. Hello everyone, my name is Nuvala, and welcome to another tutorial. Today we're building an automatic chicken farm, which produces all the feathers and cooked chicken you'll ever need. Without further ado, let's head into the build. Let's go! Hey buddy, you're one of the lucky ones. I'm gonna make a new home for some of your friends. We're gonna start off placing a double chest into the ground, like this, and we're gonna face a hopper into it on top. Surround it with some bricks, and then place two dispensers on top of each other behind the hopper. Place a cobblestone slab on top of the hopper, and it should look like this. Now move to the back, and face a hopper into the bottom dispenser. and place a carpet on top. And now we'll place a comparator behind the hopper. Make sure that the two sticks face the front. And then grab an observer and place this on top of the comparator. So the red dot should be on top. Place two light gray stained glass blocks on top of a brick stair at the front. In this way you can see the chickens inside and you can still open your chest. It's now time to surround the farm using brick blocks. Make sure that the building is three blocks wide and seven blocks long. It should be four blocks high. Make sure you place a torch inside because otherwise mobs might be able to spawn. And that's something we don't want. Okay, so it's now time to add your chickens. Make sure that you create a box around the carpet of two blocks high. And this is where you get your eggs and start hatching those. You should end up with 24 chickens. This is the maximum amount of chickens the farm can hold before entity cramming starts killing off your chickens in this spot. Once you've got 24 chickens, you can place an observer on top of those chickens, facing towards the back. Remove the blocks in front and behind this observer, and place some redstone dust in front and to the back of this observer. Make sure that you place a lava bucket into the top dispenser before you start working on the roof. The farm is now pretty much functional, so let's decorate it a little bit. Place three block high strip spruce pillars at the sides of your build. And after that, fill in the walls with some granite, polished granite and brick blocks. Mix it up for extra detail. Okay, now grab your deep slate stairs and alternate the stairs just like I'm doing right here. And you want to repeat this on the other side. Once the deep slate is in place, grab sprue stairs and finish off the side of the roof. This can be done with a simple stair, upside down stair kind of pattern. On top of the roof alternate spruce trapdoors and spruce slabs all along the top of the roof. At the sides, you want to alternate spruce slabs and spruce trapdoors as well for some extra detail. There you go, almost finished. All we gotta do is add a chimney. At the side of the roof, 
Place a brick block and a brick wall. Remove one of your deep slate stairs. Add two brick blocks, a campfire on top. Surround that with spruce trapdoors and don't forget to put a brick wall on top of the campfire. Otherwise it may set fire to the rest of your roof. The final details on the roof are to add a spruce fence with a trapdoor on top and a lantern hanging from the side. All you have to do now is just surround the build with some coarse dirt and some leaves and you can make a path up towards it and that's it, you're done. Congratulations with your new automatic chicken farm and once it starts really going and is full of chickens you will get all the cooked chicken and feathers that you'll ever need, trust me. If you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments below and leave a like and of course subscribe if you want to see more builds like this. Have a great day and thanks for watching. Cheers!